Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. You're back with Dead Eck, and today we're starting a new series. We're going to be playing some Hydraenea. This is a game I bought quite a while ago, actually, to play on the channel, but um, when I did my test, there wasn't that much, which is my save world one. There's been a few updates since then, so I think it's about time we had a look at Hydraenea. It's a game where you work with water, as you'd guess from the, uh, from the name. At the minute, all you start with are these, and in fact, I'm going to get a screenshot of that straight away bit of a map. It'd help if I picked it up. Alright, then it always goes to the side. Fair enough. As you can see, there's different areas we can go. There's Bastion Keep. We are the blue gem on the top left corner of the map. Um, this is our first digging plot. Now, all you can do to start with is load this up with water. And is it left click? Whoops. Where is my... Shovel over this way. Oh, I got a lantern as well. Oh, yeah, you can't pick more than one thing up at once, can you? Let's move this a bit further down. So what we're going to do to start with is just dig out a little bit. Uh, excuse me. What? Oh, I know what I've done. Yep. You need the bucket. I can't take that back out of there. Right, I, I messed the first one up. But we got a chunk of gold from that. What you do is you fill the bucket up. Sorry, I forgot how to play this apparently. Drop the shovel. That goes in there like that. There we go, that's better. Yeah, it's a little bit um, handcrafty to start with. And I forgot all the buttons. There we go. Where's my brush gone? There we go. And we get even more gold this time. It seems like they've upped the quantities that you get to start with. Huh? Drop it. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> and give me some water. I keep pressing the wrong button. It's left click. And I'm stuck in my own hole. Ooh, I think we've got some Kateria more there. Let's just move all this away a little bit. <clears throat> and I'm just going to start digging from this side. Just so it won't interfere with anything we want to do later. Throw that down there. Chuck that in there. I need the bucket because I need to go and get some water. Remember left click. There we go. We're getting into it now. Let's just keep digging out from this edge. Whoops. <clears throat> Don't harm me. There we go. Yeah, it's fairly simple to start with. It does get more complex as you get further into the game. We can't do anything with these yet. So how about we go and trade these in and see if we can get enough gold to actually buy anything. There's our first shop. Which, um, you know, you can buy tools, pipes, stuff like that. So we can get water actually coming in. And how much would you give me for all this? 69 gold. Is it any better if we go to the stock market? I doubt it because I don't think this dude buys outright gems. No, he doesn't. Yeah, things go up and down in price. So you want to be making the things that have got the green arrows. <clears throat> Let's... Uh... Let's take this gold. Thank you. We'll throw that in there for now. It doesn't fall through the bucket anymore. That's always uh, nice. It used to fall straight through the bucket on occasion. You had to try and clip it on the side, which I think I might have actually done there anyway. So, what would we like to try and buy first? I mean, really, a small furnace early on is good. We've not quite got enough gold for that yet, though. A mining helmet. Ooh. Water intake pipe. You know what, actually? I am going to get a water intake pipe. What did I have? Like 69 gold. That's going to cost me 36. This isn't going to come out far enough. We'll purchase both of those. I've got a bit of a tractor there as well. Which we are going to use because it's just easier to move everything all as, uh, as one unit. 
Did that drop it on the... Yeah, it's levitating. I don't know if that's actually going to... There you go. And we can take our coin back out. Put it in there. And yep, it doesn't fall through. Good, good. See, there's been a fair few updates since I played it. Oh, bit of lag there. Let's drive the tractor across. Now, I want to point this towards the shop so I can just go straight and reverse dead quickly. Don't go down the lip. All right, then. Go down the lip. <clears throat> you do you, tractor. You do you. There we go. <clears throat> Come on, throw. Work with me. So, water intake pipe. We're going to put that. There. It is going to make an annoying dripping noise for a little while. Not going to lie. <clears throat> Once you start catching it in buckets and stuff, then it gets much better. Yeah, I'm going to need a few more of them. I'm trying to get it so that it automatically loads the water into this bucket for me. I'm just going to leave my coin in there because why not? So let's just do a few more digs. And then we can hopefully go and buy some more intake pipes. Uh, not intake pipes. We can go and get some more straight pipes. Drop that there. You go in there. Come back, bucket. Don't leave me. You're not allowed to go anywhere yet. Do do. In you go. In you go. Load it up. Happy days. Don't harm me. I actually dropped it and it didn't roll away from me for once. Good game, game. Keep taking from this edge. Because I'm going to want to do things in the middle once we've started to get in, um, you know, better off. <clears throat> we'll do a few more digs like this and a few more sweeps. And then we'll go and see if we can actually um, buy anything of use. Now, in my test world, I built right from the edge in the middle there. It wasn't brilliant. Uh, uh. Excuse me. It wasn't brilliant as I got into it because I had some problems with the edge of the map. What am I even doing? There you go. And drop you. Da -da. I think that might be enough for us to get something good. So at the minute we're getting gold, we're getting iron, and occasionally... That doesn't seem quite close enough to my face. <clears throat> Occasionally, it's not Caterium, I'm, that's satisfactory. Unobtainium springs to mind. It might not be right. Another 64 gold. Mm, good, we'll just throw that in there. Now, you can actually stack these together if you drop them on top of each other. Don't prove me wrong, game. Oh, all right, then whatever. <laughs> it really doesn't matter that much. So you, you'll be able to buy some more straight pipes now, and hopefully we can get it dripping into the bucket. That's the ticket. 76 gold. So what can I get? I can get three of these. They used to just drop them square. I like that it throws and rolls them now. Just going to bank the tractor up, and then we can load it onto here. And that'll do nicely. Stop. Made it a little bit difficult for myself to get in there. You can crouch. That is not what I wanted. Uh, 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 uh. Where? Thank you. It's because we're on a bit of a slant, honestly. Uh. There you go, and whoop, made the jump. Go team. That can go in there. It still falls through. Doesn't seem to fall through as often now, though. And we can park you there. You know what? Just park it on the actual soil. Screw it. You have got to keep this topped up with water. If you look in the front hood, front hood, in the front of the tractor, you can see a little water tank there. We can always fill that up with the uh, the bucket if we need to. And expand you. Get out the hole. It's 
getting there. It's getting there. I should be able to put the bucket so that it's catching that water, I think. It's going to be a bit. Whoa. It's not going to let me do it. It needs to be longer. <laughs> fair enough, game. Fair enough. We need, like, one more pipe. It's fine. So what we want to be doing is making this automated as quickly as possible. Why would that explode out like that? Please get out the hole. Thank you. And hoop, hoop. Damn it, hoop. Huh? Don't keep ah uh, in me. You've made me forget my buttons. Oops, apologies. Wait, I dropped my water. No, I didn't. I thought I'd drop my water out of it then. There we go, and there we go. But yeah, you can actually make a pretty nice base when you get into it. Uh, there's all like walls and stuff you can buy. It's not at the shop that I'm at. There's a couple of different shops. We'll get round to the other ones at a later date. It's just you need a fair bit of gold to buy anything like that. And until we're making a decent amount of gold coming in. Ooh, we got a, a crystal in there. Now they're used for keeping pressure up and stuff. But we don't need them yet. Can you please land flat? Thank you. There is quite a range on this shovel, mm -hmm. and you can get a better shovel further into it. And drop that. With where I've dug my hole, I'm probably going to need like another one, two, three, maybe even four pipes. So let's just um, let's just stick with the uh, the digging for now. And then hopefully at least this episode we can get um, a water being automated. It's not much, but it's a simple start. It's going to help us get gold, get iron, and get actual money quicker. So, just want to keep this initial pile whole in one place. We don't want to mess about with it. I don't want it interfering with anything else. It's fun when you start actually making things and smelting it down. Which, to be fair, it doesn't take that long to get to, honestly. It looks like there's a weird... There we go. I don't want any weird things like that sticking out. Don't have me. Mm, let's say two more. Oh, Bucket managed to self-write itself. Or played Bucket. You know how the game's working. Huh? Don't. Uh, -uh. Me. So that's one. Drop the bucket there. Get the brush. And... Yeah. The pipe's going to come across to this way. So I don't want to be digging this direction. If we can help it. Huh? Stop it. Ugh. At least you can just pick it up and do it yourself. And in you go. Whoops. Nope. I wanted the bucket. I should really just bring that across, but eh, screw it. Nope, we're going up to Bastion Keep. Yeah, it's a simple game. I like it. Admittedly, it's not a survival game, and this is replacing the survival game, well, going in the survival game slot for my videos at the minute, but I thought we'd just have a tiny bit of a break from survival games. Not that I'm not going back to them, it's just, yeah, I, I just want a bit of time away from survival games for now. I very nearly did another Seven Days to Die series, as in a proper one, not a Twitch series. But that was the uh, the choice that I was going for next. Oh, we've got a couple of shards in there. Uh, let's get some water pipes then. Stop it. If I go this side, it's slightly better. 
And I should be able to afford them four. Yes, I can. I am going to say you can't carry multiples of these, can you? You can't stack these in the bucket at all, can you? I just... Yeeted that through the floor. Well, we're never finding that one again. I guess I'll buy another one. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, don't do that trick again. Yeah, we're just going to run these across. It'll probably take me just as long to get the tractor and bring that out here. Honestly. Uh, yeah, I, I was going to do Seven Days to Die, but I thought, you know what? I've had this game for a while. I've seen it keep updating in Steam. I read a few of the updates. We'll give this a go. It might not be a dead long series, but to be fair, one more pipe should be enough. Have I got one or two more that I bought? Two more. Have I purchased this one? Yeah. It makes a weird noise if you've not purchased it. But we've got two more, so we're going to use two more. So, what, 15 minutes in? We've already got our first um, tiny, tiny little bit of automation going. We've automated our water collection. To be fair, I could use that pipe and branch it off up that way somewhere. But the more pipes you use... Um, the more you lower the water pressure. Yes, it's in there. Make sure that your coins are there. That and you want to have this a little bit higher. Otherwise, as you've seen, dropping it becomes a slight issue. So, water now goes into there and it stops making the horrible splashing noise. Yippee. So now what we can do. We don't have to keep going and getting water. So we've already cut down our uh, production time by about half the one problem i've got is it does automatically start dropping oh. yeah it automatically drops please thank you i think if you crouch and put that down it's going to be a bit less finicky so I've got to remember to empty the water out now. But again, we've cut down half of our production time by not having to go and get water anymore. As you can see, I'm going to start getting gold quicker. Oh, gold and iron. So the smelter will probably be the next thing we want to get. Might try and see if we can get that this episode. We've still got a bit of time left. And to be fair, with how fast we're Cratch. Nope. 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 <laughs> this is why you need um, some flooring. Although you can drop it at an angle on flooring as well, so it's not the be all and end all. Get rid of the water. Drop you there. Happy days. Start putting this a bit further over here because it looks somewhat flatter. Get rid of that spike there. This shadow is in a horrible place. Wow, it didn't actually get filled up with water. I thought it would have done. Just keeping this one pile all sorted in the same area. Whoop. But yeah, the deeper you dig down, the bigger nuggets you've got. Uh, the, the, there, you've got a, a chance of getting bigger nuggets. Damn it. How do you even do that? Thank you. I mean, I'm trying to dig deeper down now to try and show you. We could just dig a hole literally straight down if we wanted. But the soil is finite in this game. So you don't really want to waste it, in my opinion. See, there's some bigger chunks now. To be fair, them chunks seem bigger than what I used to get on my test world when I first started. So maybe he's upped the, uh, the size of the initial chunks that you get. But they do seem to be worth a small value. So, Alright, we're trying to dig right down the edge now. You know what, let me just go and get the uh, the lantern. It does seem a little bit dark. On uh, OBS over there. Just drop that there. 
It doesn't really light the hole up any anything. It makes it worse with the shadow, but it'll be fine. Ooh. There's the occasional lag spike on this game. I don't know why, because I don't get it on many of the other games that I play. I mean, occasionally, yeah, it's just when the computer's thinking about something, I guess, but... Not, not bragging, but I have got a bit of a beast of a computer. You wouldn't have thought a nice, simple game like this would have caused any lag. Though, again, it's still an early access game. Optimizations, they'll probably come out sooner or later. Like I say, it's uh, a fairly, fairly simple game. Let's go and see how much gold this is going to get us. And the dripping starts again. As soon as I can stop the dripping, by any means necessary, I stop the dripping. That was one of the new updates. There's a jump sand. I think there's a sprint key now as well. You can go there. I've got enough for a furnace. Well, what is the sprint key then? Because I'm holding shift. Key bindings. Sprint is no. Oh my god. Dude can run. Wait, no, I'm not meant to be going here. <laughs> I got excited by the sprinting. Dude, he's fast. Right. I want some foundations. I should be able to get four of these, I think. And a furnace. I'm going to need a crucible as well. Just stack it up. Let's see if I've got enough. I had 160 something. Oh, I've got loads of cash. Oops. My cash isn't there. My cash is there. Boom. I am going to bring the truck back for this. Maybe... No, I don't need a couple more pipes. I can start squaring off a foundation right there. And back it up. We don't want to back it up as much as last time, though. Don't hit the lamppost. I actually want to be able to get into the shop, and I don't want to be on that silly little slump. Slump? Now that is annoying. Can I just press... It's Yeah, press E again. I'm pressing Q. Ah! Beautiful. Yeah, that's loads easier loading it up when you're actually pressing the right buttons. Who'd have thought? How much gold have I got left? Give me another water pipe. And a, nope. I don't want a tea. I wanted an elbow. Thank you. Get them on there. And I'll take my... Ooh. They're called hydro coins, actually. I should use the correct term for them. I think they're... Yeah, I didn't see anything fall off the back of the tractor. <clears throat> so what, we're like 20 minutes in and I'm already going to start building a little bit of a, a foundation. Um, let's get the pipes in first because I want a bit of an elbow. Just launch them across there. Whoop. You can go there for now. Don't lose the crucible. Whoops. I was about to say, where have my pipes gone? They've rolled into the back corner. Do I want the elbow first? No, I want another straight bit of pipe, and then I want the elbow. Because I want to start turning it into the middle. So, you can go there. And... You can go there. Hmm, good. I think we're going to put these right there. Now, you need the hammer to nail these in place as such. Otherwise, you can just keep picking them up. <clears throat> and that can go right there. Have you got to turn this on now? Pick up 
place down to use. Can heap up crucibles and bars for crafting. Oh, I'm full. You've actually got to put it down. Put it down. So that's what that means. We're just going to crouch there. Drop that. And you see it's loads nicer to drop it there. We're going to need a tool rack as well at some point. So I can keep all my tools in one place. Let's keep trying to dig down in this same spot and get deeper into the floor. <clears throat> Don't hurt me. Whoops. Wait, where did my dirt go? Did my dirt literally just disappear into fat air? God damn it. God damn it. There is a bed you can buy so we can sleep through the night. <clears throat> I don't see it as a priority. So I'm not going to bother with it straight away. They seem like bigger chunks, but I don't know. Just going to keep digging off this edge here. Can go there. Brush. Yeah, they are getting slightly bigger chunks. We've got quite a nice setup going at the minute, honestly. Huh? It's all working out rather well. Get rid of the water. I don't want to drop huh? the spade there. See what I mean? I dropped that on flat land and it still rolled. I think I had a bit of movement with me. Right there. That pipe is right in my face. Ooh. Right, what we can do differently this time, which I am actually going to do now, we're going to take the crucible axe. You can grab this with your bare hands, because our dude is a beast. Let's just move the bucket out of the way for a second. We're going to smelt some iron. Uh, it's a bit tedious to start with because you've got to pick them, sort them out by hand. Iron ore. And we need to make sure it's all the same ore. It's like that's gold. I can't really see because it's a little bit dark. That's a shard. Is that gold ore? I think everything else in there is shards and gold. Yeah, I'd say it is. What we can do, <clears throat> chuck that in there. Oh, I've not got an anvil, so this isn't going to work. Not yet. It's fine, let's keep digging. Dig, dig, dig. <clears throat> Surely we've got to be getting to the deeper areas now. That was a chunk and a half of iron. Jesus. We are going to try and use this as a cave entrance. Oops, spades in the way. Get that water out of there. Some. That's the iron smelted. But me being me, forgot you need an anvil to be able to do anything with it yet. It's fine, we'll get there. Don't worry, it's not a rush. I know I seem like I'm playing quick, but I do that in all sorts of games like this. Don't want to dig under where I'm stood. Don't ah uh, uh, me. There's some chunky chunks. We like the chunky chunks. And it's nearly daytime, so we'll actually be able to see again. See how deep we've managed to dig this hole. Um, that might be enough to buy an anvil. I'm gonna have to buy an anvil and a hammer, though. Is the thing. <clears throat> We're nearly at 30 minutes, so um, this will probably be the last thing that we do in our very first episode. 103 gold. I'll take it. No! Luckily, I just sold everything, so the only thing in here is shards. I'd take them out and put them somewhere else, but really, it, it doesn't matter if they stay in there or not. Not at the moment. If it started getting ridiculously full, then maybe. But it's not, so we're not that fussed. I'd like some more foundations as well. Still, not got to do it all in this episode. Um, Le Anvil. 
86 gold, and the blacksmithing hammer is 105. Am I that fussed about it early on, then? And we need a casting mold as well, so we need all of them together. How about instead I get a tool rack? And... There's another hammer, isn't there? Instead of the blacksmithing hammer? I'm sure there is. Am I just being dense? We've got the, the grinding wheel there for uh, gems, which I've actually not got any of yet. I swear there's another hammer. Pickaxe there, pickaxe there. Have we got to go to one of the other shops? Has the game done me? It's there, the construction hammer. We'll take a construction hammer. Let's get the improved shovel as well. 120. What did I have? 105. Ugh. I want it then. And I want it now. Let's just drop that in there. Mm, let's get the improved shovel first. I am actually just going to leave my money in there for now. So is this the one that gets you better resources? It apparently does the same thing. But I don't want this one anymore. It fills the bucket in two digs. That's the improvement. We've halved our production time even more. I will be back for you. Don't worry. 42 gold, 27. You know what? I want to buy that. And then we'll finish this episode off. <clears throat> It should be nice and quick with the uh, new and improved shovel. I will be able to scrap that in at some point, by the way. It's not just going to be a complete waste. And we'll just do a couple of these. It also digs out a bigger... Whoops. Don't press Q. That is the wrong button. Also digs out a bigger node. Oh, did that automatically get rid of the water there? Because I did see water in it. I am meant to be getting rid of the water because I don't want to be wasting it. Keep huh? digging down. Beautiful. I'm getting into the rhythm of it now. Keep digging down. Stop it. We should have enough to be able to buy by hammer now. And then we can lock things into place. Which is good because I don't want to keep accidentally picking up the foundations. Uh, you can sprint in this game now, remember. I, I'm used to not being able to sprint. Only 65 gold. Fair dues. 92 gold. I keep doubting myself that it's actually managed to land in there. Excuse me. Um, yeah, we've got enough. 92 gold. I think I'm going to buy a couple more foundations. Get over there. What are we at? 57. 62. Luckily, the foundations are nice and cheap. Which is brilliant, honestly. Uh, yes. Right, we're just going to run these back one at a time. I want to be able to spread out a little bit. I don't want everything all clumped together like it is. And you can go down there. Just giving ourselves some room to breathe. Room to breathe. That is off a commercial. I'm sure it is. I can't remember what commercial like, but... A commercial nevertheless. I did buy two more. Yep, this is brilliant. No, I bought three more. Well, that's just horrible. Come on. I think actually because you can sprint now, it's better than using the tractor. Unless we're going to the shop miles away to buy bigger and better things. But for now, we're not doing that, so... 
I am going to have to dig the dirt off of these uh, things because that's just upsetting. Have I got enough gold to buy two? Oh, two more. Thank you kindly. It's got to be a square. We've got to keep it square-like. Bounty, bounty. Let's take my hammer back. Hit place down items to lock them down. No more picking them up by accident. So, for starters, I want to move this out just onto the edge. The crucible can go back in there. And lock, lock, lock. So I can't pick these up anymore. <clears throat> it's a wonderful thing. That can go there. Let's go and get our last block. Oh yeah, there's the uh, the pan there as well that we need. It's never turning night time again already. Was it even daytime? I don't know anymore. That was an awfully quick daytime if it was. You can go back there, and this is the improved shovel. Let's just dig this bit off of my land. Damn it. Thank you. Where has my brush gone? Oh, damn it. It's got water in it. You can get a uh, pickaxe. So you've not even got to dig the dirt. It just automatically destroys it. It's good if you want to set something up. You know, like a mine or something. You just dig it out, uh, the initial bit out of it. Thank you. You can go there and you can get lost. You can get sorted. Right, we've got a platform to work with now. Beautiful. And we need to lock that one down. So all of these are locked down now. We've got a nice place to work and start building stuff. I could expand the water across this line. If anything, I think I'm going to want the water to go up. So I've got room to work across here. Because what we can end up doing is getting multiple pans. Getting these all dripping out in certain bits. Actually, I'd bring it back one so it dripped onto this from T-junctions. Multiple buckets. Yeah, we can uh, we can definitely start expanding our operation in the next episode. But like I say, that is going to be it for today's episode. A little bit of a longer one. But we've got into it. I do like this game. It's just there wasn't enough for me to play it when I first bought it. I'm hoping there's a lot more to it now. We'll see as we progress through the series. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like. And I do really appreciate it on the first episode of a new series. Helps get it out there and get other people watching it. Um, all comments and feedback, greatly appreciated. And with it being a newer game, you know, any hints or tips you've got are really going to help me. If you'd like to see more content like this, also feel free to subscribe. And other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.